in Taiwan, we're making the government transparent to the people by trusting the people first with the open government data on procurement, on budgeting, on KPIs of government projects. Everything is up in an e-participation platform for people to comment and deliberate publicly. However, the PRC regime is making the citizens transparent to the state through facial recognition, through tracking systems like social credit, they are making sure that nobody can meaningfully organize horizontally in a way to effect political progress. And with the private sector, Taiwan is leading the way to use sandbox systems across all ministries so that anyone with a good idea can challenge existing regulation and ask for a trial on the sandbox for a year or so. And if the civil society generally likes the idea, their version of regulation leads the way and become national regulation. And if it doesn't work, it's open innovation, so everybody learns from it. However, the PRC is doing the opposite. They're extending control into large enterprises by mandating a communist party branch in every company above a certain size. And so in Taiwan, we're just making all these differences in values very clear in our education system, making sure that people growing up in Taiwan understand the value of democracy and also trust all the children with the idea of they control their own educational trajectory. Autonomy, interaction, and the common good are the three guiding values of our new education system starting this year. And the teachers will give up the idea of them being the sole authority, just as the government gave up the idea of we being the sole authority of any social environmental issues. Instead, we are to become facilitators and provide a safe space so that a democracy can deliberate substantially and agree upon common values that then everybody feels that they have contributed to and can implement them together across different sectors.